So, hey, what's up, guys? It's Jay Money at HowToPulse.com. Uh, I've got another video here coming up to you for a starting a Trezor Model One with brand new seeds. So, let's get started here. First thing you need to do is go to the Trezor dot io forward slash start and download the desktop app okay second thing you need to do is go to suite dot treasure dot io forward slash web forward slash bridge and download the latest bridge uh, which is currently 2.0.27 once you get both of these downloaded you will go into the treasure suite and this should be the screen uh, that you do see <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and begin setup and set up Trezor firmware is already updated to the latest version and we're gonna go to create wallet we don't want to recover a wallet with another seed but we want to create a new wallet here so we're gonna go standard seed backup okay confirm on the Trezor And we're going to create a backup. You do want to check your backup and device settings before sending any money to this wallet. Never take a photo or make digital copies. And keep your backup secure. Do not ever share it with anyone. All right. So you have to click all three of those. Hit begin. And then these are the words that are going to show up on the treasure itself okay it says raccoon it's hard to read that there I'm sorry there it is so all right and make sure you get all the letters that you're spelling it correctly before you're moving on. Okay, power. Now, I did a Model T a little while ago. That is a 12 word seed phrase that comes out of a Model T. Uh, this one will be a 24 word seed phrase that comes out of the Model 1. Okay, few. first word here and like I said make sure you're writing them exactly as you see them in the same order all right so that's the 24th word now it's gonna walk me through every single word again real quick and we're just gonna double check make sure nothing stands out this is your one chance to double check what you wrote and what you wrote is accurate so go ahead and take your time and Work yourself through this process and just double, triple check. Make sure all these words are exactly how they should be. Okay. And then we're going to continue to a pin. Set the pin. And then on the device it says, are you sure you want to set a pin? You say confirm. And we're going to set a pin. Okay. Just going to make this quick and easy for testing purposes. 
and then reconfirm. As you can see, the numbers change on the screen. They're never in the same place twice. All right, so set that pin. Continue. Uh, we're gonna just select Ethereum for now because we're dealing with Pulse Chain. That, that's gonna be an EVM chain. Um, all right, and then we're gonna write test five just to give it a name. Confirm on the device. All right, now we wanna access the suite. So this is where we have an option between a standard wallet and a hidden wallet. Uh, standard wallet is just the 24 words that we're given. And if we pick hidden wallet, you get to pick an additional word. Uh, you can make it whatever you want. It doesn't have to be one of the standards. You can make any passphrase you'd like. So we're gonna create one in the hidden wallet function and access hidden wallet. All right, so we're gonna confirm that on the Trezor. Pulse chain is what I wrote. Okay, it's checking balances. There'll be a zero balance because it's the first time we've used this wallet. And it asks you to put in the word again, just to make sure that you typed it in correctly. And we're gonna confirm that here. The word is pulse chain. Okay, and we get a receiving address from that. So we're gonna confirm that here. And I'll write that down, B796. So that'll be our hidden wallet there. Okay, and I'll show you when you connect to MetaMask uh, how the uh, standard 24 words that were given will be a different address than when I add a passphrase. Okay, so here's the MetaMask, and we'll go right to connecting the hardware device, go to Trezor. Okay, allow once for this session and export it. So if I go ahead and enter, okay, AA9E, that's a different address than when we put the word Pulse Chain as the 25th word. So I'll go ahead and unlock that one. And then what I'll do is I will disconnect the treasure, plug it back in, lock the MetaMask, log back in, and we'll go right back to connect hardware wallet, treasure, continue, allow to see the public keys. I need to put in my PIN number. Okay, and passphrase. So we're gonna write pulse chain here. And then we're gonna write it again. Okay, and hit enter. Confirm. Pulse chain. And right here, B796, that's the address that we wrote down uh, in the treasure suite when we first put in that pulse chain secret address. So as you can see, we've got the B796 when I use the word pa uh, Pulse Chain as a passphrase. And then we got this AA9E when I did not use the passphrase. Um, you can set up a, another passphrase with a brand new word. And you would essentially create another wallet with another uh, 25th word, which would have a completely different address as well. So that's the power of the passphrase and what you can do with that. Um, typically when I'm done using these uh, devices, I will come in here and remove them from the MetaMask account. And this is now just showing us account one, which this is just a dummy account that has no funds in it. So there you go, folks. That is how you set up a Model 1 brand new with new seeds and how to use the passphrase function. All right, guys. Thank you. See you in the next one.